Hey guys, it's your boy T, and I got my girl A with me. Hey. And today we are coming from 365 Horror Vlogs, the channel where we attempt to watch every single horror movie in existence. And today we have another one of our review videos for you. We are looking at the movie, The, the Black, Black Phone. Phone. This movie was directed by Scott Derrickson. It's starring Mason Thames, Madeline McGraw, and Ethan Hawke. After being abducted by a child killer and locked in a soundproof basement, a 13-year-old boy starts receiving calls on a disconnected phone from the killer's previous victims. All right, guys, we're gonna get right into this review, but before we do, I gotta remind you guys to please like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that good stuff. It really helps the channel out, and with that, Let's get right into it. So the first thing we're gonna cover is we're gonna cover kind of the scare score, you know, how much intensity I felt in this movie. And the, the tension actually was pretty good. I did feel my heart rate rise. A lot of the capture scenes, you know, where he's gonna escape or something, you really are like, oh my God, is he gonna make it? So it did kind of build a good tension that way. Uh, I did find it did need a little bit more of it, but the tension was good for sure. Next, we're gonna move on to the creep score, and that's really how unsettled this movie left you. Uh, unfortunately, when it comes down to it, I didn't really feel unsettled afterwards. There was a couple of the villain scenes where he made some weird, like, faces and gestures that were kind of creepy. Of course, the kids in, on the phone, it had a little bit of a creepy feel, but it didn't really creep me enough. Also, there was a couple times where the phone rang, like, incessantly, like, it just rang and rang. I don't know why that kind of grated on me, and that was a little bit of a creepiness for me. And, of course, a couple of his visions, but other than that, not creepy enough for me. I feel like the creep factor for me was non-existent. I was really just maybe parts of it were kind of creepy but I just didn't I wasn't creeped out at all. Next I'm going to move on to the gore part of this movie and honestly I've got to say there is little to no gore. If you are squeamish you are safe with this movie for sure. Uh, you get a little bit of blood here and there but definitely nothing I would consider gory. Next I'm going to move on to the characters and acting and I've got to say that it, it was well acted. You definitely could tell it was a big budget film. The actors were good. It was believable. Sometimes it's hard to get that kind of performance out of children and I thought that both the kids were good. Only once or twice when the kid cried it just didn't seem like real but I mean again it's children acting man it was good it was competent and it was decent for sure so for me the acting was actually really good I really enjoyed it I thought the kids usually kids in movies are you have to be the really creepy weird kid but yeah no this was all it was really good well acted I liked it Next, I'm going to move on to the story of this movie, and I did find it to be one of the shining points of this movie. You could tell it was big budget. It also had a pretty unique story where you had kind of spirits helping him from beyond the grave. I thought that was kind of cool. I mean, it, there was still the trope where he was captured. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I mean, it wasn't exactly 100% unique, but the way that they kind of resolved the conflict and like, as you see in the trailer, that's not a spoiler. No. Nope. Um, I did think that that was a really good part of the story. Another thing I did like about it is I found that it captured the time period quite well. Mm -hmm. I did definitely feel like I was in the 70s and 80s, from mm -hmm. language to clothing to just yeah. everything like that. All in all, I thought the story was pretty good. Lastly, we're going to talk about our final scores. And for me, my final score for this movie is going to be a 3.2 out of 5. I think that this is a solid watch, but not exactly a must watch. It's well acted. It's a big budget film. The effects are good. The story is told well. But again, it just wasn't creepy and scary enough for me. It is not a must watch and it's not one I'm going to own in the collection. So for me, the final score was a 3. I thought it was really well acted. I thought it was a really decent movie it wasn't like a waste of time or anything like that i really just thought it was a three it's not going in here <laughs> <laughs> Well, guys, that's going to do it for another one of the 365 horror reviews. We are going to release another video that's going to have a little bit of a spoiler discussion with it. But if you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that good stuff. Uh, make sure you also leave in the comments what you thought about this movie. Yeah. To wrap it up, we both thought this movie was a solid watch, but not a must watch. All right, guys, that's going to be it. And we will see you in the next one. Peace. Does it work? Not since I was a kid. I'll scream. I'll scratch your face. This face?